<laughs> he's, he's a good time. This is going to be a fun match. Thanks, Lunchables. He's looking forward to it, dude. You oh, just, oh no! What? <laughs> what? Are you kidding? Okay. This is why I love. All right, no, hang on. He's wait. got another trick. What? <laughs> what is he doing? How is he doing this? No wonder he's so good at Smash. This is why he he's won blowing Smash my and mind. Splash. This is why he won Smash and Splash right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at a world champion. Anyways, yes, FX Lunchables up against Gyo. In loser semifinals, Gyo gonna pull out the wall that is Mega Man. Yeah, and gonna be a very difficult wall to get around if you're Roy, but we'll see how Lunchables can do. Right now is looking looking not not horrible. We're only 15 seconds in, but it's not looking like it's a 30 second long game at least. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes that can happen with Roy. Yeah. yeah and uh, sometimes know. it takes forever. Yep. Ooh, down tilt there by Gyo, trying to slide his way into those DMs. Lunchables denies him. See the metal blade come out from Gyo. Not gonna quite do the trick. Border catching them out. 30% lead here for Launchables. He's taken off. Yeah, that's the thing, and I mean, obviously Mega Man's good at chipping away at those percents, but as long as Launchables establish this, that he's not afraid to approach. I think one of the things that he is uh, maybe finding a little bit surprising about Mega Man is that uh, he's putting on a lot of shield pressure, even yep. from a distance. Uh, Launchables was kind of admitting to me earlier that you know when he plays this game. Uh, you know, he's not familiar with all the characters yet, and sometimes he sees them doing stuff, and he goes, All right, well, they sure are doing stuff. <laughs> and uh, maybe, you know, Mega Man's uh, yeah. impressive shield damage, maybe one of those times. Yeah. But either way, he's doing a great job of dealing with it, and that's, uh, you know, just sort of testament to, you know, how quick he adapts as a, as a top player. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, not to be... Not to be output, I mean, you know, Yo's doing a great job oh, of keeping it together. Oh, he doesn't get back to that ledge. Unfortunate there for Launchables. Yeah. Again, Especially part of the unfamiliarity with the game. Yeah, he had he had a lead there as well, which is always unfortunate to see that kind of just happen to you if you have the lead. But see if he's able to fight it back. He was telling me earlier, he said a lot of Roy's uh, matchups are like, if he if he takes the first stock, then the matchup stays at whatever it is. But if Roy loses the first stock, it kind of just becomes a 7-3 in most cases. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, if, if you lose the first stock as Roy, it becomes infinitely harder to win. Wow, Gyo still had his jump. That's so big for him. He's, yeah, Gyo's crazy with that. He always finds his way back. I'm like, wait, what's going on? Why are you back? That shouldn't work. The thing, the thing about conserving Mega Man Jump is that it is less important to conserve that for your vertical recovery than it is for your horizontal recovery. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my no. god! Two SDs from Lunchables. Lunchables kind of raises an eyebrow at that. He was not ready for that. But we'll see if he can uh, bring it back going in here in game number two. Yeah, that's... It's, I mean, he, he looked like he was playing the matchup solidly, but it can be hard to come back from, you know, a double SD deficit in your head. Yeah. Where you're like, oh man, but what could have been? And sometimes you need to just kind of tell yourself to knock it off and just get into the next one. And we'll see if he's ready to do that. Looks like he's still... Yeah, just taking a second to get it together. And again, I like the decision there to realize, okay, my shield's getting low, I can't just stand here and shield. I like the just I agree with you, I like the decision with Smash Roll. Again, like you were saying earlier, the Nair extensions are going to be crazy on this stage, and Mega Man doesn't gain too, too much from it, so... Let's see what we can do. Gale kind of dropping that jab reset, that was awkward. It's one of the funny things that low percent Mega Man with a jab reset can hardly do anything. Yeah. Uh, unless you've trained some crazy stuff, which does exist. Yeah. But I mean, it takes a lot of time. <laughs> Man, right now, I mean, we've just been seeing a lot of, a lot of Lunchables doing the right thing, which is playing carefully. But unfortunately, with Roy, sometimes that doesn't work out as well. Um, and that's just part of the matchup, is that you know you've got to really pick and choose your battles, mm -hmm. and characters that uh, are able to do that more effectively are going to do much better against uh, Mega Man. Yeah. So it's all about getting things started and then keeping them going against Mega Man. Because once you drop that advantage state, the neutral once again, very frustrating. See how Lunchables can do here though. Nair, forward air. Wow, was looking, was hunting for that down smash. Definitely expected to be able to just jump right back in there. But did not get the read that he was looking for. And Gyo is making such great use of that leaf play, uh, of the uh, leaf shield. Mm -hmm. And I love it so much just because uh, it really stuffs that Roy who has just uh, a really small disjoint. <gasps> and he goes for the big read, but oh. Gyo not biting. He's, he's done that twice where he's turned around when Gyo has just gotten up or rolled, a, or, uh, rolled in front of Lunchables. But 
Much as though falling behind again now in percent. Now Hard for tilt though. Wow. G yikes. That just killed. Okay. <laughs> Roy is really good okay. at killing people. Now once again, Yo trying to put that pressure on that ledge. Uh, you know, just sort of absent-mindedly with that leaf shield. But yeah, Lunchables with the lead. Yeah, uh, here's, here's the other thing. Lunchables is always down to just play the patient game. Like, especially now he has a lead, even though he's playing against Mega Man, who can be very frustrating to play against. He's just down to play the waiting game. Be, be patient, wait for Gyo to make a couple wrong moves and punish with Roy's big, juicy hitboxes. And that's one of the things I was hoping I get to bring up is wow. uh, how effective playing with a lead against Mega Man is. Mm -hmm. Because it can be hard for him to find those stocks, but uh, yeah, Backer's one of his reliable kill moves and finding it on that Smashville plat, that'll kill earlier than 140. Yeah. We saw Lunchables go for that counter, probably expecting the, the backer a little bit earlier, but unfortunately mistiming that one. Gonna fall victim to it. See what Gyo can do. Throws away the Metal Blade, but he can get another one out real quick. <laughs> Again, Gyo's still behind. Whoa! Ooh, that was interesting. And that's was one for it all right there, because that would have totally killed. And that's, that's one of the things, again, that's the thing about Roy, is that when you get something started on somebody, you gotta make sure you keep it going, and Mega Man especially. Mm -hmm. But Gyo's been doing such a good job, but when he gets out of that disadvantage, he's been making it so that it is a quick reset to neutral, and make sure that he is immediately back there, applying pressure to that shield, and making Lunchables put himself in a bad spot, like on that Smashville platform, where it's harder for Roy to get things started. Yeah. Roy likes to be grounded. He likes to be on the same level as his opponent. And being above them or below them, it makes it tougher for him to connect those sweet spots, and especially to combo that into anything. Yeah. He's doing a good job of it so far, though. He's played a lot on this platform. Definitely uh, not, not, not struggling through it too much. It's a good way to get it, especially against Mega Man, but wow, that was a meaty forward air. Up by 50% now, so burn that shield up for that sticky grenade. Yeah, that's Gyo's goal right there. Wow. The Z dropped, Z dropped to re-grab on the Metal Blade. Now, oof. Gyo really applying that empty pressure. Getting up close to Lunchables, but not doing much with it. And now pushing him up to the top, you gotta be careful with those, because I saw Lunchables not DI into that tornado correctly and get taken up to the top. Yep. Here's, here's another thing, though. Never mind. Here's matter. one thing. Dash attack is strong. Dash attack is real strong. I was going to point out we were at a minute 30, so it's very possible we could have seen time come into play, but Lunchables stealing the deal with the dash attack before I could even mention it, so mm. shout out to Lunch. That's the, that's the kind of the question mark with this, is that... Uh, normally, Roy games don't go to time, but Lunchables yep. is patient enough to say, if you're just not going to give me opportunities, I'm not going to bite. Mm -hmm. And now Gyo going for the rob, so this will change the dynamic a little bit. Now, instead of being, uh, you know, quick shield pressure projectiles, this is going to be uh, what you think of when you think of a projectile character in this game. Rob is going to stuff you out with those projectiles, and Gyo is starting that off with that true 26% combo and pulling out the gyro already, get some mad tricks on board. And we'll see, now Lunchables has got to change his dynamic. He can't let Gyo get away from him, because the moment he gets that distance, Gyo can pull out the gyro, pull out the laser, and keep him away. Yep. And he will do just that with that nice big laser here. Run out Lunchables, finding a way to succeed. He's a little bit behind, but he has Rob trapped in the ledge, and that's not where Gyo wants to be in this situation right now. He had that gyro, was ready to throw it out. Up tilt to up air. Gonna work, but obviously not gonna kill this low. When when Lunchables went off stage, my caveman brain said downer. <laughs> and then Lunchables smart person brain said, uh, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gyo reading the rolls all the way onto the other side of the stage, and with that fast falling mid weight Roy, he's gonna find that up air for the kill. That is guaranteed, folks. Down throw up air gonna work. Wonders there for Gyo getting that nice kill at about 120. But see if Lunchables can make it back. And he definitely has to. It's only a best of three. We're in game number three. He's the stock down. This is Lunchables tournament stock right here. Can he turn it around? Or will Gyo uh, reign over him and finally put an end to Lunchables' insane run? And especially he's got to find the stock quick because once you get that damage built up on Rory, you've got a rob with low percent where he doesn't have to be afraid of you approaching and just throw out so many projectiles, that's where you're going to find those problems with Rory. So if he can get the stock off of Gyo before he gets to about that 50% range, he might be doing just fine. I mean, Gyo is dead to a couple big moves. 
dash tag not gonna kill, but definitely gonna send off stage for a possible edge guard situation. Forward smash, obviously. But oh, Troy's going for that edge guard, but barely just low profiles that fair there from Gio. Very smart. Up yep. tilt. No. Oh. For a second, I thought he was gonna go into a glide <gasps> toss into Wow using it's the Rob. footstool. Oh my gosh! He's gonna she's dead not. Anyways. Oh, that would have been. So, oh, if he. Oh. Even if he had died anyways, yeah. but gotten the kill, I would have been like, all right, that that's at least disgusting. sick. But man, even Gio living. That was clean. And